Hello scientific brilliant people, how are you today? So today I am going to uh, talk about the effect of rotation of a plane mirror on reflected ray. So basically if I rotate this mirror by some angle theta, then I just want to see that by what angle the reflected ray turns. So here is the situation that is in front of you. This is the incident ray, so I am going to call it as I. This is my normal. Now this is the reflected ray, correct? And I know that this angle is I. This angle would be R, but I and R both are equal as per the laws of reflection, correct? Now what am I going to do is, I am going to turn this mirror by some angle theta. So now let me make a new position of the mirror. So this is the new mirror position and I have turned this mirror by angle theta. So now this is the new position of the mirror and I am ensuring that this incident ray stays at, at that point only, at that location only because incident ray comes out from the source. I am not changing the, uh, the position of the source so the incident ray will keep on uh, coming in this, this direction. But now the thing is that we know that normal always stays perpendicular to the mirror. So now since I have changed the direction of the mirror, the perpendicular will also change. Like this was the mirror and this was the perpendicular. Now if I turn the mirror, the normal will also turn like this. So that means I will have to draw a new position of the normal and I should keep in mind that the normal always stays at an angle of 90 degree. So this is the new location I am calling this as n dash. So that means the normal has shifted over here and it is but obvious that this angle would also be theta. It is because look at this small demonstration and you will understand it. These are the two marker pens. This is my plane mirror. This is the normal. So if this turns by 30 degree in the upper direction, this will also turn by 30 degree in this direction like this. Correct? So the angle turns by theta, the normal also turns by the same angle. Now let's measure the new angle of incidence from the normal. The incident ray stays there itself. This is the new location of the normal and as you can see that this angle is i, this angle is theta. So this angle is i plus theta. So now the new angle of incidence has increased by theta. So that means the new reflected ray should turn down because earlier the angle of incidence was less, angle of reflection was less. Now if the angle of incidence has increased, so the angle of reflection must also increase and the angle of reflection should be i plus theta from the normal. It is because the incident ray makes the same angle i plus theta which the reflected ray makes i plus same theta with the normal. So let me quickly judge that somewhere around over here the reflected ray should be, I am just guessing, our diagram over here should not be very accurate in terms of angles but if this angle is i plus theta then this angle must be i plus theta from here. So let me draw this ray again. like this. This is my new reflected ray over here. Let me call this as R dash and I know that incident ray with respect to new normal it makes I plus theta. So the reflected ray must also make the same angle I plus theta. Correct? Now people we know that this angle is I Actually it is R but I and R are same. So if this is I, this whole angle, if this whole angle is I because you look this angle and this angle are same. This is theta so that means this angle has to be I minus theta. Correct? This angle is I, the same angle is I over here, this angle is theta. 
सो होल एंगल आई माइनस दिस एंगल थीटा इज दिस आई माइनस थीटा आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस एंगल पीपल बिकॉज दिस वॉज माई अर्लियर रिफ्लेक्टेड रे नाउ दिस इज माई न्यू लोकेशन ऑफ रिफ्लेक्टेड रे सो दैट मीन्स वॉट इज दिस एंगल सो फॉर दैट लुक एट दिस बिग एंगल दिस इज आई प्लस थीटा माइनस आई माइनस थीटा सो आई वुड बी गेटिंग दिस एंगल सो लेट मी कॉल दिस एंगल इज एक्स सो इफ यू लुक केयरफुली x is equal to this full angle is i plus theta so if i subtract this angle from this whole angle i'll be getting this angle so this is i plus theta minus i minus theta if i open up the bracket i plus theta minus i plus theta these two gets cancelled so my answer is 2 theta that means now i know that this is 2 theta so the reflected ray turns by 2 theta if you turn this angle if you turn the mirror by theta very important relation people so hopefully you have understood the explanation and if you have liked my video please post a good comment and if any suggestions always welcome thank you for watching the video